What is up everyone? This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about the MSI Afterburner. So, um, I wanted to make like a quick tutorial on how to like, you know, tweak with some of the certain settings so you know you can have like the most maximum gameplay performance or you know if you're trying to mine, you can you know, boost it, overclock it, get some more minings out of it as well from your graphic card. So let's get right into it. Um, so I have the MSI Afterburner page uh, linked up over here. You can obviously go here. I'll leave it in the links in the description below for you guys to download. And it gives you like a little bit of like a overview of what you can do, what it can do. It does show like it has overclocking tools. It even have a, has an overclocking scanner. I just started it before the video started. I don't know if this is something new, but it's pretty interesting. And it took about five minutes for my computer to be able to work with but again they have a detailed tutorial on that as well and i'll show you how to go to it and like how to activate it essentially they have their hardware monitor and custom fan profiles and then on-screen display which i personally do like when i'm playing games so you can always see how the overall game is doing and um like the gpu the fps all that other good stuff and to basically see this is where you basically mess around and see which one works perfectly well to like enhance your settings for the game um, I personally don't care about the custom skins, custom user skins, completely up to you. And they also have another com combustor benchmarking tool, which is a set, it's a built, it's a tool for, for the program itself, but you have to download it on the outside and install it, and then it gets linked up. So just to show you where it is, oh, apologies. So this is the MSI Afterburner. This is where the combustor tool would be, but you can see I do not currently have it downloaded. I will make another video on that separately to show you, but it does talk about like what it is and how it works. On the top left, that's where the overclock um, tester is. It'll, t again, I don't know how long it would take on your computer, but it does take a certain amount of time. When it was testing on my computer, the, uh, the, the temperature went up significantly high. As you can see, it reached the max, it even says 178. It went beyond <laughs> the reaching scope, and you can see now it's dropping. I had to put my fan on 100 for the test testing period. And again, it's only temporary. Um, you can uh, uh, change the fan speed over here. So once you change it, you just have to press OK, or the check mark, it ends, ends up setting up. But I usually just keep it low if I'm not playing or anything. So I don't like to keep it auto. I don't think it's perfectly accurate. So I just tend to keep it wherever I feel like it's best uh, on what I'm doing. If I'm mining, I try to keep it a little higher. If I'm playing a normal type game like RuneScape, obviously I'm not gonna do anything at all to it. You can change the power temperature limit over here. And again, this is where you start tweaking yourself to see what works best. Uh, some do correlate, like if you increase the power limit, obviously the temperature will increase with that as well because you're pushing more of it. You can. This is where you explicit, explicitly overclock or underclock it. And you can do voltage as well, so where you get the most out of the graphic card with the least voltage. This is usually people who are mining tend to go with. I'm unsure about gamers as much. I personally use it for mining. And I will show like in a separate video on how that one works as well, like uh, the perfect um, thing, because every graphic card is different. And I have the uh, 1080 Ti, so yeah, it's, it's just, it varies per graphic card. So yeah, this was like the overall tutorial I just wanted to give. You can set up profiles, so like you can say, let's say for mining, you set up profile one and you save it. For gaming, uh, let's say COD or some uh, bad example. <laughs> let's say something like Crisis, you do profile two, because obviously, you know, it's different. They 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 require much more uh, power from your computer. I don't think COD does as much, or RuneScape. Um, but yeah, um, this is the overall tutorial. I wanted to just show it. I will make more uh, in-depth tutorial on the combustor and like the voltage aspect because I feel like that dives a little deeper into a, a different subject. But yeah, um, overall, guys, let me know your thoughts below. What did you guys think about this video? If you found it helpful, if you have any other questions or comments or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, FNHR, peace.